patients diagnosed with advanced bladder cancers and also receive bladder removal surgery might need additional treatment to prevent recurrence under certain circumstances. This is according to a new UT Southwestern Medical Center study. The five-year international study validates the use of a marker panel to predict which patients are more likely to face recurrence of cancer following the removal of the bladder, thus indicating those patients to be appropriate candidates for follow-up chemotherapy. Published in the journal European Urology, the study results are significant because additional molecular information could aid bladder cancer patients and their doctors in determining whether further toxic chemotherapy is worth the risk. Patients facing muscle invasive bladder cancer normally receive treatment by removing all or part of the bladder. However, they are infrequently given additional chemotherapy, despite an overall 1 in 3 relapse rate. For this study, researchers used five commercially available markers and the tissues of patients who had their bladders removed. They followed a group of over 200 patients to determine if their cancers had returned. They discovered the number of changed biomarkers were an independent predictor of recurrence and cancer-specific mortality. Lead researcher Dr. Yer Lotan claims that the goal of the investigation was to establish whether molecular markers involved in cell cycle regulation and proliferation could aid in pinpointing which patients face an elevated risk for recurrence or metastasis following bladder cancer surgery. The next course of action will involve trying to incorporate the molecular marker into standard clinical practice.